The CoinSuris channel is pleased to have you back. Which of these options do you prefer? Please people cast your vote in the community option. Optoin AXRP. Option B REPL. Option C SEC. We shall talk about XRP here. Another subject that will be discussed is Bitcoin. Not only that, but I'll be making not one, but two videos today that are all about XRP. But before I start, I think it's only fair that you Bitcoin holders give me a standing ovation. The approval of Bitcoin ETFs was reported in today's news. Please may this be a tremendous windfall for your wallets. BlackRock hasn't persuaded me yet, and I'm worried about where this is headed. The one-day chart shows that XRP's value increased due to Bitcoin and that news, it is currently trading at slightly under 60 cents. In my opinion, Bitcoin was not up to par. I had anticipated seeing $50,000 or more, but we were nearly at $48,000. Following that, the entire system broke down. It seems like someone tried to sell the news to us. We can't help but wonder when the first XRP ETF will be accessible as we eagerly await the SEC's approval of the first Bitcoin ETF. One benefit of the current legalization of Bitcoin ETFs is that, whenever an XRP ETF is approved, which, according to many, is expected to happen in April, we will know in advance how this will affect the price of XRP. I don't think that will happen until the SEC and Ripple settle their disagreement. That has been on my mind for a while. However, due to the fact that this is entirely novel in the cryptocurrency market, everyone is left to speculate. It is now the time for great things to happen. The value of Bitcoin might hit half a million dollars, according to some forecasts. Even while I don't think Bitcoin will reach $1,000,000 by the end of the year, I have heard that some people think it will. This is just my personal view, maybe I'm just suspicious, for some reason. I hope everything works out well and send my best regards to everyone involved. The companies who spot Bitcoin ETFs have been approved and are scheduled to start trading tomorrow, really, today, are listed here, and everything will be revealed today. Until trading starts, we have no idea what the future holds for Bitcoins. However, my skepticism stems from the fact that I simply cannot trust BlackRock in any way. My prediction is that they'll figure out how to influence the Bitcoin market down the road. Gary Gensler, while we have no official position on Bitcoin, we have approved the listing and trading of specific spot Bitcoin ETP shares today. Gary made his point with that statement. To please everyone, he's making an effort. In addition to winning over Elizabeth Warren, he is also winning over BlackRock. Be advised that these ETFs will necessitate custody due to their classification as securities. By the end, even more of them will go with Coinbase. For certain individuals, Medico could be the answer. On top of that, we need to keep an eye on what's happening in that area. Nevertheless, they will all likewise be tokenized. The sheer age of these tweets from Gary Gensler and the SCC governor astounds me. Protect yourself from financial account takeovers, identity theft, and fraud by following these simple steps. Enable account notifications, use complicated passwords or paraphrases, and turn on two-factor authentication. Can you remember when Gary was preaching? The outcomes of the hack are then revealed. Likewise, we must not overlook this. A substantial amount of funds were lost due to the SEC breach. We have launched an initial investigation into the hacking of the SEC Gov account. According to some, Elon Musk even gave in. X has made this claim. Based on our findings, the security hole wasn't caused by a hack into X's systems, but rather by an unidentified third party obtaining the number linked to the FCC.gov account. The absence of two-factor authentication from the account settings has also been confirmed. Nobody seems to believe it, even if the account was compromised. In fact, they assume X is being dishonest. That this was an intentional hack is their stance that they have not changed. It was intentional that the news be announced too quickly. Moreover, I am uncertain anyway. No conclusive proof has been presented by either side. What happened in the past day, though, should never have happened to cryptocurrency. There has to be an investigation into this, because people lost money and assets were liquidated.
See how Ripple CEO Brad Garlinhouse responded to the SEC's phony announcement of Bitcoin spot ETF clearance. The SEC should investigate its own crypto-related actions, it seems, every day. Twitter is still not beaten when it comes to memes. And let's not forget about the memes. Also, they haven't faded at all. Despite this, people lost money, as stated earlier. Time is of the essence, swift action is required. The frequency with which this occurs is intolerable. Among digital currencies. The senators that informed Aaron about the approval of spot Bitcoin ETFs, J.D. Vance and Tom Tillis, are also the ones who explain the decision's logic. The organization responsible for supervising the world's financial center made a scandalous colossal error. Kindly transmit widespread Yulin statements, such as the one made on SEC social media, can impact markets, claims Senator Cynthia Loomis. Additional details regarding what happened are needed. If senators would cease merely communicating with Gary through letter, it would be beneficial. Put down the ranting and get to work already. The dude needs to be fired immediately, Gary Gensler must be fired. He has betrayed American folks with his deeds. Prevents the approval of superior Bitcoin ETFs. There are other benefits to approving Bitcoin ETFs. The recent media attention to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies has reignited interest in the market. What a great time to be a crypto investor. In the coming months, the market is going to experience a plethora of new capital. You are aware that this market is the reason why everyone is complaining. Their constant griping about the price is getting under their skin. This is the source of their dissatisfaction. They're feeling frustrated since they aren't making a ton of money. Bear in mind that you are just starting out in the crypto world and are seeing everything happen right now. For quite some time, this Bitcoin ETF accreditation has been the market's most noteworthy move regarding cryptocurrencies. In all of cryptocurrencies' existence, nothing has ever been comparable. The significance of this moment cannot be overstated. This is from Brad Garland's residence. Kudos to all those who worked to get Bitcoin spot ETFs approved. It's a giant leap towards recognizing Bitcoin as an actual asset class. As the industry moves away from theoretical discussions and towards more real, broad use cases, it is my sincere desire that this will act as yet another catalyst for institutional investment acceptance. It provides legitimacy to the Bitcoin business and serves as a basis for its legitimization. And we're all working towards the same goal, so that helps. Despite your misgivings, keep in mind that Bitcoin Maxis' goal is the same as yours, to become financially independent. When it comes to dishonest government officials like Gary Gensler, I believe we should all stand together and fight against the system. The very group that is trying to destroy Bitcoin in the US is also determined to keep innovation at arm's length from the country. We must immediately remove from office any corrupt senators like Elizabeth Warren, who is benefiting herself at the cost of the biggest banks in the country. The American people are once again being deceived by another lie. Even though she's her own boss, a lot of exciting things are in store for this year. Plus, there will be a lot of exciting things happening at that time. Remember what I said earlier? Patience pays dividends. You may be frustrated right now because XRP isn't behaving the way you were hoping it would. I understand. Conversely, perhaps you're feeling overwhelmed by the amount of time you've spent holding. Nevertheless, the cryptocurrency market will bounce back. The year 2018 is developing into a watershed moment for cryptocurrencies, as more and more institutions join the bandwagon. At this very second. This year, Web3 will continue to grow, and businesses will join the bandwagon as well. With iOS also delivering value, this year is going to be really amazing. Put the sale off for the time being. You intend to stay here and amass enormous wealth. Keep a positive outlook, exercise patience, and let's build riches together. Very well, I will now conclude this video. Thank you for sticking around to watch. Today, it was all over. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to my channel and rate it. Until then, farewell.